have a model of the male reproductive system. This is the urinary bladder right here. Right back here we can see the intestines, large intestines, specifically the rectum right here and then anus right here. We can start here with the testes, the testicle. This would be the scrotal sac right here and that would house the testicles outside the body because Sperm production has to take place at a temperature lower than body temperature. This is the epididymis right here. This is going to be a place where the sperm cells are stored and will mature before they're released from the body. This tube right here is the vas deferens, also known as the ductus deferens. If a male were to get a vasectomy, what would happen is the doctor would cut and remove a section of the ductus deferens and seal it off, usually cauterize the ends, so that these sperm cells, when they're made, will not be able to exit the body. They'll just get reabsorbed by the body. This right here is the penis. Right? This is the head of the penis, or the glands penis. And you can see a fold of skin right here. This would be the foreskin. You can see it better right here. This is the prostate gland right here, and this is a seminal vesicle. The spermatic cord has in it blood vessels. It also has lymphatics in there that we can't see, and it contains this ductus deferens. So keep in mind, the spermatic cord contains the ductus deferens. I'm going to take this plate off right here so that we can see structures on the inside. This right here is the pubic symphysis. This right here would be the urinary bladder. Okay, so some of the other male reproductive structures we can see. Here's the prostate gland. If we magnify the prostate gland, we have a better opportunity to see the ejaculatory duct. This red tissue right here is erectile tissue known as corpus spongiosum. This erectile tissue right here is known as the corpus cavernosum. And there's two columns of corpus cavernosum at the dorsal side of the penis. Okay? And all of this erectile tissue will fill with blood to make the male have an erection. Here is the urethra. Okay? Now this urethra in the male is made up of three parts. We've got the prostatic urethra right here. Okay? We have the membranous urethra right here as it passes through the pelvic floor. Okay? These would be pelvic floor muscles right here. The bulbourethral gland would be located at this level here too. This third portion of the urethra, of the male urethra, is going to be the penile urethra. It's also known as the spongy urethra because it's located in the corpus spongiosum. Down here we've got the testes. Right, this is a testis right here. We've got epididymis around here which would store the sperm for maturation. This muscular layer right here around the testes would help to elevate the testes to bring them up closer to the body if they get too cold. Okay, this is the cremaster muscle right here. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.